Hey everybody, welcome back to Cargo Noir. Let's get back to smuggling. Okay, so Jen has a tough, tough choice. She has enough money to raise me and outbid me because she does not want to give up this wild and the cigar. And by the same token, she does not want me to have the wild and the art. But here's the problem. If she outbids me, that's pretty much all she's going to do. All right, well, actually, hold on a second, hold on a second. Um, let's resolve all her stuff. First of all, she can pull this shit back. So she actually has four bucks, to be fair. And she can pull this shit back, right? Was, well, she wanted to get the weapons. So, um, so that's the tricky thing. If she pulls this back, she'll either trade away the uranium or the cigars to get these weapons. So she has four of a kind. And now that uranium has come out, I don't think she necessarily wants. So she, but, you know, if, if she could get these cigars, so it's tough. So she's got to decide. Is she going to raise me? If she raises me too, then she's pretty confident. There's chances are I won't raise her again. Plus, that means um, she will have forced me to waste a turn trying to raise her because this ship will have missed an opportunity to collect. If you're, if you're not collecting tiles every single round, you're not doing very well. I mean, and so that is an interesting conundrum for her. So she could raise me. And so that ship would stay there. I would probably back out. But then that's the other thing. If Jen raises me when I back out, my syndicate gives me two bucks. And that means Jen is basically giving me money for free. Oh, so that is tough. She does not want that syndicate to ever be of any particular value. So raising me, but I think she's going to anyway. Oh, this is crazy. Um, boom, boom. Okay. So. So that's how she resolved this ship. She didn't pull it out. Instead, she bid up. She is now top dog in New York. All right. And now, and she's confident she'll get this now because she knows I'll pull out because I'm, I'm going to have a bunch of money. I could raise again, but there's no way I'm not going to take advantage of my syndicate. So she's got it. And so now she'll pull this out and do a swap. Now, she doesn't have to do a swap. She could just draw a blind and hopefully get something good. But I think she's going to do a swap. But what's she going to swap? She could swap the uranium to get those weapons, but she doesn't want to. Oh, no, because she's got enough money. She has a chance to get into Cape Town, too. So I think instead, Jen was originally planning on swapping to get the weapons. But remember, Jen has a lot of storage space. So instead, Jen's just going to draw a blind. This one pulling out, instead of doing a swap, it's drawing blind, and we'll see what she gets. Blah -de 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 -de. And she's hoping for the other wild card. There's only two of them. She's digging around, and what does she find? Art. Art. Stolen works of art. Blah. All right. She, she hates that so much, she's putting it down here in her B warehouse. She just, yeah. All right. Although still, it's not bad because that means she, can, she doesn't care about this, so she can trade it in the future to get these weapons and not give up the cigars or the uranium that she cares about. Okay. So, Jen has resolved all of her ships. Um, okay, by bidding and then doing other stuff. So now, Jen can do trade. She's not going to. She's saving up for a big move, so she's skipping the trade. And she doesn't have to discard. I mean, because even without the warehouse, she's got enough space to store this. And so now she's going to deploy her ships. Um, right, and so she's got two more because this one's still on the board. She's going to need some cash because she's really broke now. And she would like to get that uranium. So she just bid with one and hopes she doesn't get outbid. She knows I don't care about the uranium. Okay, she's just going to cross her fingers and hope that I don't bother outbidding her. So that was her turn. Back to me. Back to my turn. We're moving on to round six. Okay. So I resolve all these ships, and that just gives me a lot of money. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could easily outbid her, but as Jen predicted, I am not. I'm going to back out of the bidding. So look how much cash I've got. And now, money is not worth points or anything at the end of the game, but in the final round, they are interesting because normally when you go to the trade, you can only use your cargo, your contraband, to trade in to get stuff. But in the very, very last round, you can use your contraband plus whatever money you have. So if you've saved up a lot of money in the last round, that could translate you into buying something that's worth a lot of points. So anyway, so I made money, I pulled out, and because I pulled out, my syndicate gives me Two more bucks. I am crazy loaded. Um, although I did give up those chips, so we'll see how well that works out. So, now I could do some trade. I don't really have enough. So, I'm just going to skip that and go directly on to deploying my ships. And now I cannot redeploy in New York. Uh, so, I have to go somewhere else. Where am I going to go? What do I want? I like cars and art. There are no cars and art anywhere. No, there is this art, but, you know, that's gone. 
Um, but now this is interesting. I just noticed. I haven't been paying attention. There's three ivory in Macau, and there's two ivory here. That's five ivory. The low, you know, that's and five of a kind. That's twenty-five. That's jumping right up to buy buying your own bar, which is worth twenty-five points. So maybe I want to start, um, you know, rearranging. Plus, you know, if I get Panama and Hong Kong, that's two alcohol I can get as well. And I know next round, Jen is only going to have three bucks. And again, if she outbids me on anything, boom. So I think I am going to go to Panama and Hong Kong. And do I just go in crazy low because I don't care about getting outbid? Yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. The syndicate gives me that freedom to not worry about. Normally, you worry about getting outbid because you don't want to waste time. But now I'm not wasting time. So if I get outbid, it's just as if I went over there instead. Now, do I want to outbid Jen over there in Cape Town? I know she wants that uranium. I don't particularly want it. But here's the thing: I am thinking about trying to have some stuff on hand so I can trade for all that ivory. So I am gonna outbid Jen. I'll go on ahead and bump up to two, which again is paying more than twice. But I've made Jen waste a turn. So that's pretty cool. And I've still got one more boat. Oh, the benefits of having four boats. Or I could even have five if I were to buy another cargo ship. Now, where is this boat going to go? Um, well, I, I've gone to, I, mean, I can't come back to New York. I've gone to all the other places. So I can either go make some more cash or I can prepare to do some trading. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so Jen's turn. And Jen has to resolve her ships. First of all, she makes two bucks. One, two. She gets all, she pays all the money in the world to get all of this goodness. And by the way, Jen does not have enough space, even with her extra storage, to store all of her stuff. So she's going to have to do some trade this turn. And Jen just got outbid on Cape Town. She's not going to raise, she'll just pull out. And unfortunately, since she doesn't have a syndicate, she gets nothing. So that boat was just wasted. So uh, she took a chance. She hoped I wouldn't outbid her, and I outbid her easily. All right, and New York has to refill. One, two, three, some ivory, some uranium, and some art. Okay. Now, Jen was hoping to get that uranium, which would make this uranium more interesting. Now, Jen has to get rid of at least one thing, or discard at least one thing. This art is... Uh, all right, okay, what has Jen got here? She's got a wild card, so that's like four weapons. She's got one uranium, she's got two art, and two cigars, or three if she wants to use her wild card. She's going to have to give up one thing or do a trade and get rid of a bunch of stuff. Now, there are no more cigars anywhere to be had in the world. So two cigars, that's worth four. She would need six more, like three non-matching things to be able to four plus six to have ten to buy another warehouse, let's say, or a syndicate of her own. She definitely wants to hold on to these weapons because now she's got four, and there's a fifth one that she's still hoping to get. So that's five, that's 25 bucks. So she's definitely saving all of these. So then her thinking has to come, what is she gonna do with this? All right. Um, Cause she doesn't have enough room. <laughs> or, she, or she doesn't have to buy anything. She doesn't have to engage in trade. She could just discard one thing. I think, I almost, I think she is going to. She's just literally, it's painful. She's just gonna discard this uranium to make room for her cigars and her art. All right. Because you can see there's art over here. And if she picks up this art and the uranium and ivory is, is not particularly good for her, but she'd have three art, four weapons. So that's three of a kind. That's nine. Four of a, uh, four of a, or, you know, oh, and then she does a swap. So that's five of a kind because she swaps, say, that ivory or something like that. That's five of a kind. So that's 25 plus three of a kind for her art is 34 plus two of a kind for her cigars is uh, 34. So she have, she, she'd be up to, she could buy showbiz or paparazzi and score 40 points at the end of the game if she's ready to trade in. So she's not going to trade right now. She's still saving up for the really, really big. All right. So... That is her resolving all her ships. She's not going to engage in trade. She's just storing stuff for a bigger payday. And now she's got to send her ships out. And she's definitely coming back here to New York. Now, the problem is Jen knows I could easily outbid her because I'm crazy rich. So she just go in with the totally reasonable and hope that I don't care enough. Because, I mean, obviously, I don't care about uranium. I don't care. Oh, I do care about art. She can see I care cares about art. 
And the thing is, once again, if she gets outbid, it was a total waste of her time because she doesn't have a syndicate. And that would be very painful to get outbid again and waste another ship. All right, well, she's definitely going to come over here to Macau. She's doing that so that she can get the other weapons. And if she gets this, she'll trade the uranium or the ivory to get the weapons. So she's got her five of a kind. And she doesn't really care about the alcohol or the ivory. She can see what I'm doing. She can see, oh, look, I'm getting a bunch of, I'm getting two matching things. That's two twos of a kind. She can see that. But, you know, she just doesn't have enough money to go around to do anything about it. So maybe she should just make some cash. Yeah, I think so. And then her last question is, is she going to go in with four? Because that would make it scary. Then I'd have to go to five. And again, I could easily do it, and it would, it would hurt. But that would really put a, da uh, a crimp. I think Jen's going to do it. She's going to go for five. Oh, this is really scary. Um, but yeah, if she pulls it off with the five, she trades the ivory for the weapon, so she's got the five of a kind. She's got... Um, she's got three of a kind for art. That is pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. That's what she'll go for. As she's kind of regretting this, but we'll see what happens. All right. So that was Jen's turn. My turn. We're on to round seven. I got to do, okay. So I got a whole bunch of stuff for cheap. I am not complaining about that. Look at all this business. Although I don't have enough room to store all this stuff. All right, and let's see, and then I got this over here. I didn't even want this uranium. I just didn't want Jen to get it. And, all right, so we gotta put new stuff out. Stick around a little bit. What do we find in Cape Town? We find <gasps> the other wild. Oh my gosh, we've had plenty of games where the whole game, neither of the wild showed up. So you guys have a rare treat to see wild show up twice. Oh my, the only two wilds in the game. And that makes it interesting. I mean, I need to save some money to get that wild. All right. All right. Oh, but I still have one more ship. I'm in Macau. I could just draw a blind or I can do a swap. And I was going to do a swap, right? For that alcohol or the... Yeah, because I want to get more ivory and more alcohol. I don't care about these cars. So I had one uh, swap. I'm going to swap this uranium because I don't care about that to get another ivory. So that gives me three of a kind. And so all my ships are resolved. Now I have to go into trade. I don't have any storage, so I've, I'm going to have to throw a bunch of stuff away if I do not buy something. Three of a kind is nine. Two of a kind is four. Here's another two of a kind. That's really interesting. So I've got um, four plus four plus four is 12 plus nine is 23. Man, all these two of a kinds are not that great. I'm not that excited about it. It's, it gets me up to 20, which would let me get a yacht, which is worth 20 points. That's not bad. Because I do need to, I mean, the game's almost up. I need to start worrying about getting points. Because right now, the, you know, I'm at 10 and Jen's at 5. I mean, it's not like I'm really that far in the lead. And I can see Jen is saving up for a really big super buy. Now, instead, I could just, you know, buy some time and just do um, three singles. So that's three singles and these are three singles. Um, but that 6 plus 6 is 12. Um, so that'd be interesting if I get rid of all of those singles and I could keep on saving up my ivory, 12 means I've got enough to be able to get, um, well, not enough to get another cargo ship, which I would like to do. Ah. Another syndicate is worth five points. Another warehouse is worth five points. I don't think I'm ever going to have enough time to fill up a warehouse, so that's kind of useless. Another syndicate would be nice. But, I mean, Jen's just been scared off of outbidding me with even my one syndicate, so I don't think I'm that interested in that. So doing that would be 12. Plus, I don't want, I mean, there's, there's more alcohol up there, so I don't want to toss this alcohol. Because I can see two more right there. So if I save those, what is all this? This is, 4 plus 4 is 8, that's not enough to do anything. So, arg. Or I could just say to heck with it, cash it all in, and what was it again? It was 9 plus 12, so 23. Ugh which isn't very much other than just a yacht. <sighs> Darn it. But time's running out. If I don't start, oh, I want to get some more of this ivory. Is that I got five of a kind and that's 25 right there for the bar. Ooh. Oh. The syndicate has not helped that much. Most, although the syndicate has helped because it's meant Jen has been very loath to outbid me, which normally she'd be a bit more aggressive about. So it has protected me. 
I say, also, I need to think about what am I going to do. I know I'm going to come in, heck, probably I'm going to bid three to get that wild card up there. So that wild card, that's my fourth ivory. There's my fifth and my sixth. Six of a kind is 36 points. That's getting me into showbiz. Maybe that's my goal. Maybe that's my goal. All right, that is my goal, which means I've got these. I've got two. That's uh, um, four. Or yeah, uh, four times three, that's 12. I'm getting rid of all of these to give me 12, which lets me buy. Ah, uh, just in case, just in case, I'll buy a warehouse, just in case. And that gives me at 15 points, and I've got some more storage now. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Okay, so that's that. I'm done with the trade. Now, let's move on. I am definitely going to get that wild. All right, wait a minute. First of all, let's think about how much money Jan's got. She's broke. She's only going to have two bucks. So I can get that wild for only two, and there is no way Jen can outbid me. So that is going to be the sweetest deal in the entire game. Very nice, because uh, Jen is just not going to have the money she needs. Now, where else am I going to go? Um, let's see. I don't care about weapons, art, jar, but oh, I do because I want to pick up these other ivories. So I need to pick up a couple of things. So I probably want to put two guys over here to do two trades. And then let's say, uh, oh, well, OK, now here's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, Jen's only going to have two bucks. She can't outbid me. Because she's, she's going to be broke. So I'll come over here and ensure she can't pick up these weapons, which are going to be great for her. All right, so that's it. And I'm still loaded for later. All right, so that was my turn. Very happy about that. Jen's turn. All right, well, it, it, she made it to New York. She can make it there. She can make it anywhere. She got some ivory, some uranium. And I've totally forgotten what it was she was even trying to do. All right, that's her third art. And once again, she is out of storage space. I would like that. Um, and that's a problem. Jen knows now I'm going for ivory. She doesn't want to trade that into here because that's just more ivory for me to pick up. All right, so that's that. That was New York. We got to put new stuff out in New York. One, two, three. Ooh, where's that gold been all my life? Okay. And right. Oh, and she came over here, so she gets a couple of bucks. Why did I think she was only going to have two bucks? Because where did all this money come from? Oh, this was the money that she paid in New York. I actually took it back. Right. So she has two. There's her two bucks. Um, and she gets to either draw a blind or make one trade in Macau. And she wants to pick up those other weapons. So she will make the trade. And she will dump this uranium. Yeah. We're, um, right. And so now she's got one, two, three, four, five weapons, two cigars, three art, and one ivory. And um, she's going to have to toss two things or do some trade. Now, if she traded everything, and I know I've already figured this out. Sorry, folks, I keep forgetting. I have to keep doing it because uh, I, I just can't keep track of whatever, what's going on in both these games. So this is four of a kind. No, this is five of a kind now. So five of a kind is 25 plus three is 34. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. If Jen dumped everything, she'd have 39, which would get her into showbiz, which is 40 points. Or... Does she want to keep waiting? Does she want to outbid me? No, she can't. That's right. Um, she only has two bucks, so she can't. But there's more weapons down here. But she can't get those weapons either. She cannot do it. There's just nothing she can do. Um, and there's no more weapons that are out. That's the last wild. So I think Jen is maybe seeing the end of her rope. She's not going to be able to take this weapon thing. Although she could use this wild card somewhere else as well. If she only does four weapons, four of a kind is 25. And then like three cigars... Or, you know, she could do the, and she could keep saving. She could dump all the weapons because then she's got enough room to store everything else and save up for another big payday because this wild combined with art or cigars could, um, right, because let's put all these things, the matching things together. So she could try to start saving up for another big payday with this wild. And these four of a kind is 25, which would let her get a bar or a cargo ship plus a warehouse with 25. That's what Jen's going to do. She's getting out of... If, and if I hadn't done that, she probably would not get out of the weapon business. But because she's made it impossible for me to grab that, she's done. She's dumping all her weapons. That gives her 25 purchasing power. Does she get 25 points? Or does she get 5 points plus an extra ship plus another warehouse for even more storage? Oh my gosh. Does she get 25 points? Or does she get 10 points and more powers? Oh! Oh! This is so crucial. We're really coming down to the wire here now. 
If she gets two of those, then we're tied. We each have 15 bucks, interestingly. And she has enough storage to, to save up for something really big. You know, maybe militia or cronies for 49 or 55. Because, let's see, she wants more cigars, art, and, you know, she wants ivory too. There's art over here. She, she knows she's not going to be able to get these because I outbid her there and that kills her. But she knows three things are going to come out. But, I mean, then it could just be a bunch of stuff that won't help her. I think she's just going to get the points. So, Jen just scored 25 points by buying her own bar. All right. There we go. So, Jen's way in the lead, 30 to 15. And she's still got a bunch. She could make another big purchase before the game is over. All right. So, that was Jen's trade sequence. Now, she's got to deploy her ship. She has, has two bucks to her name. She can't outbid me there or there. She could go to New York. But see, that's the thing. If she goes there and I outbid her because I've still got so much money, she gets nothing for the action because she doesn't have a syndicate. Wow. She could just spend two bucks here and try to get Panama, but once again, I could outbid her. So I think, I think she's going to try and get some money. And Macau, she's not going to put a bid any place. That's painful, particularly because she doesn't want anything that's in the market, but she could just draw a blind and hope for the best. Although, she has ivory, getting another ivory, I mean, but, you know, she can see what I'm here, I'm coming to get that ivory, she can see that. So, she knows, well, actually, but then she's got to think about, it. if I swap those two ivory out, what am I going to put in? Jen can see it's going to be art and weapons. Art and weapons. When I do the swap and put the art up here, Jen could get the art out. All right, so that's, you know, Jen's definitely hoping, which means she's, I'm going to have to trade the weapon. Well, it's fine, she's happy with her bar. All right, so is Jen going to do that? She's just going to make some money. She's going to try and do a trade after I do a trade. That's it. Jen's over. My turn. Round eight. All right, resolve all my ships. In beautiful Cape Town, I got another wild. Crazy. And what new came out? Some more uranium. Why do I care about uranium? Nobody cares about uranium except there's a bunch to trade for. All right. Um, right, so... And that was it. Oh, wait, no. I'm over here in Hong Kong as well. So I got some weapons and some art. Okay. And then my third and my fourth ship are going to engage in some trades. And this was my original plan. Dump this weapon and this art to get this ivory and this ivory. And now I've got six of a kind. Although, as Jen predicted, she's now going to be able to get her fifth art if she uses wild as art. So that worked out pretty well. Okay, so I'm done. I now have six of a kind. Uh, six of a kind is 36. I can immediately go to showbiz, which is worth 40 points, and that'll put me back in the lead. Or do I not? I don't have to trade. I don't have to throw anything away. Oh, wait, I should have refilled Hong Kong. Uh, if there had been ivory here, I would definitely wait and try to get some more. But there's no ivory. So... While I would like to keep building higher, I don't have any place to store stuff. I don't have... Oh, no, I do. I bought a warehouse. I can store stuff. Oh, my gosh. I bought a warehouse. Okay. I'm not going to engage in trade. I'm going to wait a little bit and see if some more ivory comes out so that I could go from six of a kind to seven of a kind, which is 49, which lets me buy political cronies for 55 points. Nice. Okay. So I'm skipping the trade, and now I get to deploy my ships with all my mini monies. What do I want? Um... Well, I just want more ivory. There's no ivory anywhere on the board. There's no way to collect any ivory. I could just put all four ships in Macau, which would literally let me draw four tiles from here and see if, you know, just draw like crazy and hopefully get some ivory. And either way, no matter what, I'll get four things, which I could then use. Wow, this is insane. I'm going to do it. This is absolutely crazy. We are definitely all about the... Oh, yeah, because I want to save this money too, because if I wait until the very, very end, remember, like say I have six. Six is 36. And then at the last round, I got 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I have 41, which could put me over, you know, potentially if I have enough cash on hand, to put me over the top. It's crazy. I am going to do it. Absolutely insane. Jen's turn. What is she going to do? Okay, we're leaving all this stuff. So Jen, she gets four bucks, which means she is kind of caught up with me now. In fact, Jen has a little bit more cash than me, and Jen is going to engage in one trade. As predicted, she is giving up this ivory but she's giving it to me if she puts this ivory to get this art well she's getting the art 
But what does she give? I mean, if she puts this ivory, it jumps me from 36 to 49. She cannot put that ivory out there. She has to trade something else. She cannot do it. So she's going to put this cigar. And I'm like, no! And I curse the fates. I want that ivory. Okay, so there we go. That is now five of a kind, and then two singles, basically. Because I could not give Jen. Jen could not give me that ivory. All right, and so now... So that's it. Jen's resolved all her ships. She's now got money. We've both got plenty of money. Um, and what is she going to do? She's going to deploy some ships. Uh, let's see here. The interesting thing is, if she deploys back here, she could get um, those cigars back. So she could still have two of a kind for cigars. So I think she will do that. She doesn't need any more money. What does she want to pick up? Weapons and alcohol, cars, jewels, gold. I think she'll come over here. It would be kind of nice to pick up two of a kind. Um, you know, and so if she just bids three, that's reasonable. Am I going to outbid her? Am I going to go to four for stuff that doesn't really do me any good? Probably not. So let's say she does that. She's hoping, fingers crossed, hoping, and then she's got one more. Does she want to just come up here and draw a blind as well and hope to draw a blind to get another art? Or if she had a syndicate, she would totally come down here and do this kind of throwaway bid. Because then she'd get money if she if I outbid her, but ah, not having a syndicate, she is so ruining that. Syndicates are so nice. She can still just try to get in easy, because here's a second jewel, so she'd have two sets of jewels. What the hell? She'll try to pay a reasonable amount of money for it, and hopefully I will not think it's worth my time to outbid her, that I'd rather save my money for the end to put me over the top somewhere. So that was it. Round nine. Okay, I get to resolve my ships. All of my ships are just going to let me do four trades in Macau. And I don't want any of this stuff, so I'm literally going to draw blind and, fingers crossed, hope for... I just want to draw four ivories. One, two, three, and four. Let's see what we found. <gasps> Ivory! Alcohol, jewels, and weapons. Right, okay, so I knew I was going to get some stuff I didn't care about. So that's fine. But I did it. I mean, you know, there was, it was a decent chance I was going to do that. Drawing four like that. All right. So uh, that was it. That was, that was everything I did. Um, and now I've got three guys. I don't, I don't have room. I need to save some room. So let's see. I can keep one of these things. Um, I don't think I want to keep these jewels because I, I can see Jen's potentially going to win. Oh, no. Well, actually... So there are jewels. I could outbid Jen and grab these jewels. There's jewels here. And if I keep these jewels, that's four jewels that I know about. But alcohol, there's four alcohol I know about. Weapons, there's not much weapons. So I'm just going to toss the weapons. They're just not as interesting anymore. All right. No, I have to toss two things. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't have to toss two things. I could do a trade. I could do a trade now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of a kind is 49 points. 49 points, everybody. I'm going to do it. I'm going to trade all of this ivory for five, six, seven. Which means I got plenty of room. I don't have to get rid of any of this stuff. And for 49, I just got myself some cronies, which is worth 55 points at the end of the game. That's my big play. That was the big one. Because there's only one of those. All these high ones, there's only one of each of them. In fact, although I don't know why, there's a paparazzi and showbiz. They're exactly the same, just different. So, wow, that was it. And so. I am now at 55, 66, 65. I have 70 points to Jen's 30. But Jen, again, she's still saving up for a really big payday too. All right, and so I've got four ships to send out. I would like to come over here. I could come over here and start saving up weapons again. There's weapons and weapons. and Or I could outbid Jen. There's three uraniums if I want to go that way. I'm not going to just do another blind draw because I'm not likely to get what I need. Um, I'm getting low on run on cash. Well, let's, I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll just try to get the weapons. I'll try to get the uranium. And as always, I'm just trying to get them cheap because if Jen kicks me out, I just made two bucks, which is the same as going there. And then what else am I going to do? So if I get that, that's going to give me three tiles, two matching. Am I going to outbid her? Am I going to outbid her? She's making it so easy to do it. But if I don't go all in on... Well, no, this is a second jewels for me. So that's pretty nice. Plus, I can see, yeah, you know what? I am. I'm going to pay three. And with that, I am bust broke. Oops, that's not there. 
It's really dangerous to put these here because you might, I mean, they're supposed to be off the board. We just put them here. Um, but anyway, I mean, heck, I could just leave them off the board so you don't make that mistake and say, hey, this is where the first player is pointing towards me because I am the first player. Let's go with that. Okay, so that was my turn. I have deployed Jen's turn. She did it. She got her New York. And she's once again full up because she only has one warehouse, so she's going to have to sell some stuff this turn. She got outbid, so she's lost it. Um, she could, yeah, because she didn't have enough bid to raise it anymore. So at least she got her money back. And she can do one trade. And what was it she was going to get over there? I've totally forgotten. Totally forgotten. Gold, cigar, ivory. Oh, now she can get rid of this ivory. She doesn't care about it anymore because now I've gotten out of the ivory business, so I think she'll get rid of that. And what does she want from there instead? Uh, the cigars, right? So she can have two of a kind? No. The jewels? Well, she was hoping she was going to have three jewels, but I just kicked her out of there. So she can give up this ivory to get jewels or cigars. Either way, that's going to give her two of a kind. Hmm. Or she doesn't have to give anything up and she could draw a blind and hopefully get another art like I did. She, she's only drawn one. I mean, I got lucky because I drew four. If she draws one, well, I mean, she's got a wide variety of things here. There's a decent chance if she draws one, she'll get something. Now, if she has to trade in right now because she's out of space, she's got five of a kind. That's 25. Um, that's 29. 30, 31, 32. She's got 32 bucks which would let her buy a nightclub, which would put her at 60, and it would tie us all up again. Now, at the end of the game, if we tie, the tiebreaker is, well, it'd go to me for the cronies because whoever has the highest value card wins the tiebreaker. So Jen's worried about these cronies. She needs, to, if she um, gets, if she ties me, she needs this bank at 70. Although if she gets this bank at 70, she's going to win the game anyway. To have 64 bucks, though, she needs eight of a kind. And there's just no art anywhere on the board to be seen. She knows the last wild is gone. There's only a couple more rounds. Does she really think she could get eight art? But remember, she could, if she gets like seven art, she's at 49, which already gets her a militia for 50 bucks, and that wins her the game. Oh! Oh, so many tough decisions. Decide what to do. What is she trading? Or is she just, oh, what the heck? She's just going to draw blind. I can't figure it out. It's too much. Let's just let the fates say, well, show us a forged Mona Lisa. Nope, weapons. All right, so now Jen's definitely, all right, she does not have enough space. She's going to have to, she could just throw all these singles away, keep her doubles. Four individual singles is 16. What the heck, she's going to do it. She's going to throw away these four singles. And that gets her, finally, late in the game, she gets her fourth ship. Boop. And so now she's got to deploy. She's still going for the Hail Mary. She's got four of a kind and two of a kind and a wild. She's got storage space. She's got four ships now, and she's got more money than me. And it's time for her to deploy. And you know what? I'm just, it's going to drive you guys crazy, but I'm going to stop right there because I think I'm at my wit's end. As the game goes on, these decisions just get tougher and tougher and tougher. And um, hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of what the Cargo Noir is all about. The only thing I'm not showing you is, remember, on the last round, on the 11th round, and, you know, it's different, uh, you, know, um, you can, any money you have left over can also go towards the buying of in-game bonus cards. But otherwise, that's what Cargo Noir is all about. Hopefully I've shown you just why it's such a cool, neat, unique feeling auction. While also, amazingly, being an incredible game. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going into final thoughts. Let's uh, skip this and go into a very special final thoughts. Hit the little eye up in the top right corner in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.